So hello gamers. A lot of people are always asking me what grips are good and what grip to use on their gun. So today I thought I'd just compile all of the grips and tell you which ones are actually the good ones and which ones are kind of meh. I think we'll just do this on the M16 because it's the M16, it works with like anything. And I guess we'll start it off with the vertical grip. So the vertical grip is kind of interesting. It makes your hip fire stability a lot better. So you get pretty accurate hip fire as you can see. It's probably one of the best, if not the best hip fire grip, except for the chainsaw grip obviously. But the problem is it actually increases your recoil when you aim down sights. Now this isn't that big of a problem since it's literally the M16A3 with 223. It's very accurate, but it is honestly like not a bad grip if you plan on hip firing constantly because on guns that actually have a lot of recoil it can be a problem because it does increase your recoil a little bit so you will get a little bit more kick in your gun which is basically just initial recoil but honestly overall recoil is increased as well because there's kick in every single shot it's just like the most kick is the first shot but as you can see like you can still get kills with it and i think it's a decent grip people need to not use it on like so many of their guns because i see people using it constantly it's not that good I don't use it on most of my guns because uh, I just don't like the increased kick. And people are like, well, I can use it to decrease the vertical recoil. It actually basically increases vertical recoil. But people always are like, well, it's vertical, so it must decrease the vertical recoil. It doesn't. It's still good grip, though. So I'd say it's like a certified decent, but I wouldn't use it over basically any other grip that's actually good. So it's a decent starter grip, but I would say don't use it on any gun that you actually have problems controlling the recoil. Now, I really want to cap this flag, so I'm going to wait. Okay, they stole it. I would move on to the next grip, but like, I really want to actually get these points. We're actually behind by like a ton. Oh, yes. I actually got them the first point of the game. I mean, it's literally the M16A3, it's so crutch, it's so easy to use. You can literally have four brain cells and pop off with this gun. And as long as you're running 223, you can run basically any loadout and you'll be fine. Even if you don't run 223, it's still pretty accurate, it's just like, not as accurate. Anyways, next grip up is the angled grip. Now the angled grip is not too bad. It actually increases your hip fire spread, which is kind of annoying. So as you can see, your hip fire is like not quite as tight as it used to be, but it actually makes your camera recoil lower. So it feels like you have less recoil, but increases your visible recoil, which I guess uh, it doesn't, it doesn't really make any sense. But when you're aiming down sights, it's going to feel a little bit easier to hit stuff. I really like this on specific guns. I run mine on the SL8, but usually I just get past vertical grip and go straight to this one because it's really nice it just makes your uh, gun feel a little bit more accurate but it's not really that good because the folding grip is kind of just a better version and also the potato grip is basically the angled grip i wouldn't use these grips when you have better grips but the vertical grip since it's so good for hip firing is actually pretty good and viable at any time as long as you use it on certain guns and make sure to hip fire with it basically all the time now the skeleton grip is an interesting grip because people use this thing on lots of guns basically all it does is it makes it so you pull out your gun faster which you probably can't even tell the difference and you aim down sights a little bit faster. As you can see, you don't actually aim down sights that fast. It's pretty fast, but it's not like a huge difference. And honestly, if you're not using it with a scope, it's not that effective. It's just not that helpful. Oh my gosh, what a low bang. And like the vertical grip increases recoil, but it doesn't just increase kick, it increases recoil, like actual recoil all around, which is pretty annoying. So you're probably thinking, oh, this is a bad grip. Nope, it's not a bad grip. Just don't use it on a single automatic gun or a shotgun. If you use it on a shotgun, it literally makes your spread worse for some reason. And if you use it on an automatic, your recoil will be worse. But if you use it on something like a DMR or sniper, it can be very helpful, especially if they have a scope. So use this on like basically only snipers. The next grip up is the grip you're probably going to see the most. It is the folding grip. I have actually 2,500 kills on it, but now I use stubby and I have a thousand kills on stubby. This thing is basically kind of a better angled grip. It significantly reduces camera recoil. It makes your handling from the hip a little bit worse, but technically not like your spread. It just makes like a little bit more, I guess, recoil kind of, and it increases visible gun recoil, which like I said, is not like a huge deal, but this can be really helpful for reducing camera recoil enough to where it's actually pretty easy to hit stuff. The main problem with this is the same problem is the angled grip it doesn't actually decrease your recoil at all not really it just makes your camera recoil like feel a little bit better oh my gosh as you can see from the colt lmg kills there was somebody hacking but yeah it's pretty good it's a pretty good grip i used to use comp and folding on my m16 before 223 came out and yeah uh it's pretty good but now that 223 is here you can just use muzzle brake and stubby grip 
but if I'm gonna be real with you, like this is probably maybe the best overall grip because it just makes your gun feel a lot more accurate. It's basically a better angled grip. They have the same upsides and downsides essentially, except this one is a little bit better for reducing camera recoil. It's weird. I feel like the angled grip should get something else. But yeah, good grip. And then moving on to probably, in my opinion, the best grip in the game overall, the stubby grip. What the stubby grip does is it actually smooths overall recoil. So it's good for horizontal, vertical, rotational, anything like that. And also it has kind of an upside and a downside as well. So it increases your recoil when you hit fire, but it makes your hit fire spread better. So it's bad and good for hit firing at the same time. And as you can see, this is what makes the M16A3 like pretty much a laser beam. Like that doesn't look that accurate, but you can hit shots. Very, very accurate, easy to use gun. It's kind of a crutch gun. I'm going to be real with you. It's kind of sad that this is my most used gun, but like it doesn't make no sense at all because it's literally like the best gun to use overall, probably that. And of course the C7A2, but this is probably the best when you run muzzle brake because it'll basically fix up that horizontal recoil that you get from the muzzle brake and the downside of oh no you get worse hip fire recoil hey it's like it makes the recoil higher but it makes the spread better as you can see it's like a little bit more vertical but it's overall going to make it a little bit more accurate plus this is the m16 assault rifles don't really have the best hip fire and people like rarely hip fire on assault rifles anyways if you're gonna hip fire on a gun it's gonna be a pdw or a shotgun and obviously shotguns like they have no spread anyways so you may as well just not use any grip at all especially not skeleton grip and by shotguns have no spread i mean they're very accurate when hit firing not like oh no they have no spread at all they have spread obviously it's literally the entire point of a shotgun is that it shoots a little bunch of little shots and they spread except the ks 23m which has no spread oh I'm so trash. Anyone got bullets for me? Oh my gosh. Of course, I'm going 20 and 3 because M16A3 is so easy to use. Every time I use this gun, I remember why I have so many kills on it. It's just so easy to use. It's just, oh my gosh. Anyways, on to some very interesting grips. The pistol grip is not really like a pistol grip. It's for like assault rifles. This one is honestly pretty good. Basically, what it does is it reduces transitional and rotational recoil. Transitional recoil isn't that big of a deal, but rotational recoil is a huge deal on guns like the HK416. HK21, HK51B, G3, AG3, and the like. Like, all those guns that kind of move side to side. It's really hard to explain, but sometimes you can tell. If you know how the HK416 recoil works, basically anything with that kind of recoil, use pistol grip. It's not going to be the best on the M16A3 because the M16A3 doesn't really have rotational or transitional recoil. It's just got, like, recoil, recoil. Like, its recoil pattern is not really suited for this. If your gun doesn't have a bunch of rotational or transitional recoil, do not use this grip. There's no point because you're not really reducing the recoil that you need to reduce. And the stubby grip is just going to do you better. But yeah, stubby grip is obviously going to just do you the best. The folding grip is the most popular, I'd say, but the stubby grip is probably going to be the best. You can basically run stubby grip on every single gun in the entire game, and it will probably be good on every single one. The folding grip is not going to be that good on guns with, like, no camera recoil at all, which which is why folding isn't really that good on the M16 and also since you're using muzzle brake on the M16 usually you better be running the stubby grip but yeah pistol grip is really good on certain guns like I use it on my G3 I use it on my HK416 it's just a grip for very specific guns that works great on those guns but next up is the sideways grip you basically never see this grip in game and it's kind of interesting this grip is pretty bad at reducing recoil like I think it basically does nothing to recoil Bruh. Not only does it not slow your aim down sight speed at all, every other grip except for the skeleton grip will slow down your aim down sight speed, but this one won't. But also there's a huge upside to it, which is this. Uh, it has an alt aim. And it's really nice because you can use a regular optic and have alt aim at the same time. AMT Terminator, you can't really do that. The problem with it is that the alt aim feels a little bit weird. You hold it a little bit too high for my liking. I like the foul LMG and AMT Terminator alt aims and basically no other alt aims are cool for me. But yeah, this one can be really nice. I don't run it because I don't usually alt aim on like these types of guns. And usually the guns that I do alt aim are like LMGs, which come with a really good alt aim that's better than this one. Or there's certain PDWs at which point I just buy AMT Terminator if I want to. So yeah, I'd say sideways grip is kind of underrated. It's pretty nice and it can be really helpful on some guns, but it's just not the 
best. Here's a really overrated grip. It's the Hera CQR grip. It decreases your visible gun recoil, so it's basically like an angled grip kind of, but does the opposite thing. Instead of reducing your camera recoil and increasing the visible gun recoil, it reduces the visible gun recoil, increases the camera recoil. Now basically that means it has no effect on your actual recoil at all. So basically you may as well just use stubby grip and actually get your recoil to be reduced. And the worst problem with it is that it has the slowest aim down sight speed of any grip in the entire game, which is why people run it on like slow M107s and stuff. If you run this thing unironically, you're just kind of, I don't know, you think the laser is cool or something and you don't actually know anything about the stats. It's just kind of trash, but it does look kind of cool, I guess. Like I like the design of it and I do like the orange laser that it comes with. So if you just like the orange laser, I don't blame you for using it. But if you're gonna say, oh, this is the best grip in the game, it's not. It has basically the benefits of a red laser, but worse. And wow, that was potato. That is to say, you basically just get like better recoil recovery speed. So it's not gonna be helpful on anything other than I guess a DMR. But the thing is, it actually has worse benefits than a red laser. So it, you may as well just use a red laser. Like, look, you're using a laser. There's a laser. So overall, pretty trash grip, but it's not too bad. And finally, the meme grip, the chainsaw grip. So the chainsaw grip is interesting because, I mean, you can't aim down sights. I'm holding right click. It's not doing anything. And this does have a pretty big downside. Since you can't right click, you can't actually cancel your super jump. So it's going to be trash for super jumping. If you're a player who never uses advanced movement at all, then I guess it's fine for you but like for most of us who cancel super jumps and stuff it's gonna be so annoying the thing about this is that it makes your hit fire incredibly good well it increases it by a lot it doesn't make it good because guns with bad hit fire such as for example the m16a3 are not going to be that good with it as you can see from the hip accuracy bar it goes all the way to the top and i'd say it's a decent grip for certain guns if you do like using only hip fire which is cool because you literally cannot do anything other than hip fire most people just think it's a meme grip but it can actually be pretty good i just don't like it that much because i don't really like hip firing that much but yeah overall if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and a sub also i just like to say my favorite grip in the game is probably going to be folding or stubby like most people but also i do like pistol grip and sideways grip and vertical grip can be very helpful on some guns if you like aiming down sides pretty fast and you don't want to use skeleton grip for the increased recoil if you run no grip or just a laser or something it can actually be pretty helpful because it doesn't actually affect your aim down sight speed or you can run sideways grip which it doesn't affect it and it does give you an alt aim if you want it just remember to never use sideways grip on an lmg a foul a ppsh anything like that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one